In the last few videos, we've been trying to find the distance of a point from a line. In this video, we'll try deriving the formula. Using this formula, we'll be able to figure out the distance between any point and any line. Before we do that, let's quickly recap the story so far. This is our first example. We're trying to find the distance of this line from the origin. This is the origin. This is the line. This is the foot of the perpendicular. We try to find OF, this length of this perpendicular. How do we do that? We find the coordinates of F using two things. F lies on this line and OF is perpendicular. Once we have the coordinates, we're able to use the distance formula to find the length between these two. Then we try doing the same thing using a different method. We try finding the area of this triangle. Area of this triangle, it's a right angle triangle, it's half x intercept y intercept but it's also equal to half this length times length between axes of these four things we know three of them or we can figure out the three of them we can figure out x and y intercept using the equation and we can figure out the length between axes using the coordinates of these two points we can use distance formula to find this length and when we plug things back we're able to find the distance of this line from origin we then move away from the origin we take a different point. This special point is the opposite vertex of this rectangle. The length of this rectangle is the x-intercept and the breadth is the y-intercept. This means we already know two sides of this triangle, PA and PB. We also know AB is the same length, the length between axes, and using the same triangle method, we're able to figure out PF. But what happens when we move P further away? when P is not on a rectangle. In this case, everything else remains the same except the fact that the area of triangle is not super straightforward. But we have a different formula for that. When we have vertices of all three coordinates, we can use this formula, the determinant formula for area of triangle. Using this, we find the area of triangle PAB. We equate this to half base into height. Height is what we need and base is what we can figure out using the coordinates and distance formula. Doing all of this gives us the length PF, which is the perpendicular distance of this point from this line. All of these examples were handpicked and they prepared us to derive the formula, the distance formula, distance of a point from a line, to derive this formula ourselves. Now I highly recommend that you pause the video and try this on your own first. Okay, let's do this together. Let's generalize the point first. We have this specific line 3x plus 4y equals to 25, the line that we have been playing with all this while. But this time the point is x1 comma y1. We're trying to find the distance of any point from this line. How do we do that? Same approach. We try to find this length. It sits inside this triangle. So if we know the area of this triangle and we know the base, we can use these two to find this length. Now by now, you know how to find the area of this triangle and how to find the base. Let's try doing that. This point is F, this is A, that's 25 by 3 comma 0. This is B, that's 0 comma 25 by 4. So area of triangle PAB, that's half PFAB. Now let's use the determinant formula. Area of triangle is half X1, Y1, 1, X2, Y2, 1, and X3, Y3, 1. What are these coordinates? Well, x1, y1 remains the same. For the other two, we use these two. We replace 25 by 3 and 0 here. And then we place 0, 25 by 4 here. Now let's open this determinant. We get half x1 times 0 minus 25 by 4 minus y1 times 25 by 3 minus 0 plus 1 times 25 by 3 times 25 by 4 minus 0. So this is how we open it. What do we get? We have half minus 25 by 4 x1 minus 25 y1 by 3 plus 25 times 25 by 3 times 4. So we have minus, minus and plus. We can take the negative sign out. We have plus, plus and minus. This looks better if we have x1 and y1 with positive signs. All right. So this is our area of triangle. This is equal to half PF times AB. So far, so good. What's the length AB? That's equal to square root of 
25 by 3 square plus 25 by 4 square. All right, let's plug this here. PF is equal to half cancels out this thing in the numerator and this thing in the denominator. So this is our length PF for any point X1, Y1 on this line. So this is the distance between any point X1, Y1 and this line 3X plus 4Y equals to 25. Now let's take things one step further. Let's find the distance of any point x1, y1 from any line ax plus by plus c equal to 0. The process remains exactly the same. Pause the video and try deriving this yourself. Okay, let's do this together. We have this line, we have this triangle. This is the length that we are figuring out. The equation is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. This point is x1, y1. Let's mark the coordinates. A, this is minus c by a comma 0 and b this is 0 comma minus c by b. How do we get these coordinates? Well if you plug y equals to 0 here you get x equals to minus c by a. This is our x intercept and if you plug in x as 0 you get y equals to minus c by b. This is your y intercept. We have x intercept, we have y intercept, we have these two points. We can figure out the length. What's the length? AB equals to square root of this square plus this square. That's minus C by A square plus minus C by B square. We can simplify this. In the numerator we have C square. Square root of C square will be mod of C. And then denominator has A square B square. Square root of that is mod of A and B. Whenever we are taking a square root of a square, we should always use mod. Because square root gives us the positive value. What's the numerator? That's b square plus a square, or we can write a square plus b square, square root of that. So this is the length ab. This is something that we'll use with the area of triangle. So area of triangle PAB equals to half PF times ab. We've figured out ab. Now it's time to figure out the area of the triangle. That's equal to half x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, and x3, y3, 1. This is equal to half x1, y1, 1, minus c by a 0 1 and 0 minus c by b 1. Let's simplify. This is half x1 times 0 minus minus c by b. So that's plus c by b minus y1 times minus c by a minus 0 plus 1 times minus minus plus. So that's c by a times c by b minus 0. This becomes half x1 c by b plus y1 c by a plus c square by a b. So this is what we have. We can further simplify this. We can take a b as the LCM and take mod a b out. That's half. In the numerator we have c, so that's mod c. In the denominator we have a b, so that's mod a b. And what we get is we have a x1 plus b y1 plus 1 c is out. So we have only c here. So that's c. This looks very close to the equation itself, ax plus by plus c. Here we have ax1 plus by1 plus c. So this is our area of triangle. What's on the right hand side? Right hand side is half pf ab. Let's plug the value of ab here. So half mod c by mod ab mod ax1 plus by1 plus c that's equal to half pf times mod c square root of a square plus b square divided by mod ab. A lot of things will get cancelled. So half gets cancelled, mod c gets cancelled, mod ab gets cancelled. What we end up with is this. pf is equal to mod of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by square root of a square plus b square. And this is our magical formula. This is the proof for the distance between any point x1, y1 and any line ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Note that this line is written in its standard form, everything on the left equal to 0. And the way to remember this is, you have the numerator as the same equation, equation of this line in the standard form. And in this equation, you plug in the values of x1 and y1. For x, write x1 and for y, write y1. In the denominator, you have a square root of the coefficients of x and y. You have square root of a square plus b square. So this divided by this gives us the distance between the point and the line. 
Let's practice using this on the problems we have already solved. Finding the distance of 6,8 from the line 3x plus 4y equals to 25. So pf equals to mod of the equation of this line in standard form divided by square root of a square plus b square. So that's equal to mod of 3 times 6 plus 4 times 8. For x we plug in 6 and for y we plug in 8. So minus 25 divided by square root of 3 square plus 4 square. So this becomes 18 plus 32 minus 25 divided by root of 3 square plus 4 square that's root of 25 that's 5. So 18 plus 32 is 50 minus 25 is 25 25 by 5 that equals 5. So the length pf is equal to 5 in this case. Another example that we took was 25 by 3 comma 25 by 4 distance of this point from the line. So this is equal to plugging the value of 25 by 3 and 25 by 4 here. This becomes 25. This also becomes 25. So 25 plus 25 minus 25. The numerator is still 25. Same denominator. So we get 25 by 5. That equals 5. And the first example that we took was the distance of origin from this line 3x plus 4y equals to 25. When you plug in origin, you have 0 and 0 here. So you only left with the constant c. So that's minus 25 divided by square root of 3 square plus 4 square. That's 25 by 5. That's equal to 5.